Hi guys. So one of the questions I get asked a lot in this channel is what's the cost of building? Basically, what's the cost of building a one bedroom house, a two bedroom house, a three bedroom house, a bed sitter, single rooms, a kupodisha, a mabati house. Eh? What's the cost of building? Eh? That's the, I have realized that's the biggest question I get asked. And in this video, I want to just explain how, 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 just to give you examples on how expensive building is. Eh? So one of the things I can realize is construction. It's not for the faint-hearted. No matter what you are constructing, atakama ni chumba ya kuku. Eh? Construction is not cheap at all. I just want to give you some few examples, eh? especially examples that I've encountered. So, how bad we make comment kidogo? Uh, so, for those seeking for house updates, we are here to continue the house. Sai, nafikiri mambo ya madirisha, kufill up, easy spaces. All that resort is in my mind at the moment. How nita lipa madirisha, zikam, zieko, na mirango. But, to talk about so one of the you subscribers reached out to me and I called Taka Kujenga a hut and the hut in question in a Jengwa Nazire just easy now no kotanga kwa ground eh so the cry the subscriber happened to have a a piece of land about five acres in the in a remote area na hizo five acres I kwa Taka to a around hut, easy hut to Sasa to Tomia to Yoma Ikoko. So there is no need to buy stones na any other thing. Then basically that will reduce the cost. And which makes sense in Itakua something unique. Na but Nasa can be a come up with an idea. what you can come up with. Chora Kakito can to me examples and yanataka. Na idea zote ya kanitumia, then kaniambia come up with a, with a quotation. So I came up with a quote, and then I realized the cheapest part in building a house is <laughs> structure. The structure part of a house is the cheapest part, because umesikia tumepata, tunatumia mawe ya ground. So to save on so many things, but sasa hiyo mawe in a, in a free of charge. Mm? And so the only cost it to it to take ni labor. And then remember, these are loose stones. See my way to Nenda Kuchimba. Ni basically kuwa quarters in the Zikoko because you shamba image jamamai. I happen to see the photos and I happen to know the area. So nika ni kwana elewa what to expect because I alikoni elezia the area and nika chiki photos. I automatically knew that mawe tu niku kota ata kwa niku chimba it's just small amount of labor na na mawe ata ikiko ikiisha kwa ke tunaweza ipata another na alikuwa mepatio na neighbors wame mwambia hey chukua mawe ata utasa idea kufanya let's go iyo kutoa kukrin wizo mashamba so ni kariya raizu kumbe nyumba the cheapest part in a house is not the structure so whatever kama ni precars kama ni mbao kama ni mabati Kama ni mawe, whatever medium you're going to use in building, remember this. Apple si penye nyumba expensive. Mm? A house has a roof. So roofing is the number is number two kwa zile vitu zina determine cost sana. Number one ina kuanga foundation. The kind of foundation and the kind of soil in konayo hiyo ni number one. Number two ni roofing. That's why we are thinking ways of how to uh, cut costs on that because these are some zero challenges what we part. Number three, ni madirisha na mirango. That's also another expensive part. Eh? What we are thinking is that no kumbuke nyumba ya mapati yambao yanini inaitaji zo bitu zote inaitaji roof inaitaji eh, inaitaji roof inaitaji mirango inaitaji dirisha. Eh? And then another thing, uh, a nyumba in Itaji, most of us when you are going to say it, you are self-contained homes. Self-contained homes. Now, 
this is a trick. We give a self contained home, like this one mine. Here I'm going to it's a to read up or so. Come here and go up, do it a self contained. I tell you, no one yes, it's a kitchen, and with that kitchen comes the cost of kuweka two tap acha niwaambie ile cost itanipata kuweka two tap kwa hii kitchen yangu hapa just having a tap in my own key in this kitchen i need water assuming eh kuweka two hiyo tap eh assuming eh uzuri wangu line yetu ya maji imepitia hapa imepitia tu hapa chini assuming it's a new construction site na nataka maji so mimi niko na bahati nitavutia tu hapa hata ndo hii natokea hapa hiyo maji as you can see ndo hiyo hapa hivi inatokea so mimi nitakuja niweke katia hapo and then maji ingie kama nataka extra water na eh, more water na nini at least ya reserve niweke kaota tank basikia cost cost zina adab sasa so <laughs> as you mean ni kombali na water connection i have to make sure that maji mengi kwa how kuingisha maji peke yake you either need a water tank a water tower ama county connection hiyo ni cost watu wengi either ni ya mabati either ni ya whatever una nyumba unajenga as long as unaingisha tap ndani ya nyumba eh, kuna pipe in kuna hiyo connection fee kuna water tanks kuna water towers all those are costs that you, you, you want to work who puza wakisema cost of the of building ama cost of construction same case ukitaji kuweka maji kwa bafu maji kwa choo eh just those three na kuna cost za plumbing now hiyo maji imeingia kwa sink ume umeweka hiyo tap you need a sink either ni mabati ama ni bao ama ni whatever you need a sink kisha ka sink uh, hiyo sink inahitaji kutupa maji somewhere like for me lazima nitajenga soak pit for that kitchen umeelewa soak pit for that kitchen ikikuja ni bafu maji bado itakuwa inaenda kwa soak pit ikikuja ni cho either have a septic ama a biodigester for that Izo ni sasa ni hizo cause you add up. Uki unaweka mkurializes ni maliza structure very fast with very minimal amount of money but is vitu zingine zimeanza ku add up zimeanza ku sasa one by one zimeanza ku um, yani you you are spending even more money than you thought. Eh hiyo sasa ni cho either come na just have a septic na other stuff. Mbegeta eh? hatujamaliza hapo. Juzi tulikuwa tumea tunaanza plaster ya hao yangu uh, let me show you <coughs> kitu si kwa uh, watu wa expecting iku expensive ni electric connections za piping sasa hii hatujaeka wires you see these small pipings utu tu vitu tu naona toa stima hapa utu tu vitu utu tu pipe tunaingia eh nimeanza ka plaster nime plaster zero walls tu hazitahitaji mambo mabaya Utu tu pipe unaona tu ikiwa hapa. Utu tu pipe tu. Eh? Na utu tu sockets. Utu unaona kama sasa hii tujapiga prasa. Utu tu pipe, hiyo leba ya pipe hiyo nini? Utu tu socket. Na ni every part. Hiyo eh? sasa ni part of the electric connection. You need to buy the pipes. Ukisha nuno hata sijafanya calculation, unaona kila room iko na hizo pipes za kuleta stima. Ndio hizo. Eh, you have to supply before plastering lazima mm. usupply hizo pipings eh na ni kila pahali kwa cho kwa every bathroom kwa nini hizi pipes na sockets hizo peke yake zinainka either unahitaji ni mbao either ni ni, ni precast either ni mawe whatever you do eh, that's why naambianga watu sometimes so oh, precast ni cheap oh, mawe ni cheap oh. structure is the cheapest part of a house the structure the building of a structure is the cheapest part in building that's a fact na mtu yote ameshaijenga can be a witness that so ukisha <coughs> kaizo pipes ukuje sasa ufanye wiring ukisha fanya wiring ukuje uweke maso sasa hizo zilikuwa anga presses za kuweka sockets and then ukamu uweke sockets uweke bulbs na uweke kila kitu and then you either put solar ama upate kplc connection Buda. And I uh, 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 assume you combine 
uanze <laughs> kuambia ununue vikingi connection na vika almost mamia uh, unless uangukie hizi projects kama za gava zenye huru walikuwa wanapatiana stima na dhao unless it's that na tukipatia na hiyo dhao unahitaji kulipia waya kutoa stima kutoka kwa vikingi to to your place another thing <coughs> Ye, yeah, ukiamua sola, ni utishanga condition ya sola juzi itwa uh, chloride. Ee, uh, hawa watu wa um, wa chloride, hata wanaita baje, ni chloride hii kampuni ilikuwa ya batteries. Acha tuseme uh, si ya watu wachache. Without the energies, I don't think you have a good solar that. It's about 200 300. Hau una sola poa ya ku, kusimamia nyumba yako for every cost. So another thing that you may gondua ni expensive ni fittings. Na fittings kama cabinets, kama wardrobes, eh? those curtain boxes ama curtain rods zenye mnatumia. All those fancy fancy items. Very expensive. Hmm? Wacha sasa mambo ya price umempisha maliza hao yote ume sasa tu umeanza sasa ku fit. Kuna vitu nilienda ku buy juice hizi high end eh? Florin pia unaenda u... the differences are quite high. Go and try to easy ma fittings, easy ma wardrobes fancy fancy hivo. And tu itishe quotations za hizo vitu. Utagundua ujui. And itishe ma mkeka za mbao. Utajua ujui. <laughs> so when it comes to fittings, preference yako ndo itadetermine the final cost. Because sometimes uko na one name na unataka ile wardrobe ulionanga na wardrobe peke yake hizo zitakukost almost 100k. Hizo fittings. Na uko na one name na unataka kuifix hapo guys eh let's be realistic eh lazima lazima uko realistic with your finances because kuna una, kuna kuna vitu mbovu sana unaweza fanya zifanye uweza generate the cost of your house eh so tukitoka hapo eh twende kwa Florin eh Florin same case na fittings your preference kama ni normal tiles sawa and you know tiles that tiles and carpet bro utajua ujui utapigwa kiboko ushangae kwani kwani kwa atuko Kenya moja <laughs> eh si jasema tiles and carpet no expensive but nasema wako na variety is expensive they still have the cheaper options but trust you me wako na variety zenye mtu upatie quotation unashtuka uh wanauza pa mita square hauzi kwa box eh wanauza pa mita square hizo sasa ndo unajua nga ujui So utoke hapo amu amwe vitu kama kina mkeka ambao which are very classic na nini. So hapo ndo preference na ingililia. So nyumba kama ilikuwa ngai cost eh from kama ilikuwa iku cost no more ya ya like that gay ama 50k unapata story mob and then be careful. There was a time ni nini there was a time nilikuwa nafanya renovation kind of the cheap option nikalia raise especially hizi nini hizi vitu ndogo ndogo uh, don't always take the cheap option it's always good to fanya hesabu zako and do a lot of research. That's a gana. It's a good town. Sika town kabaya. Hayo watu wa juu sagana. Eh yeah. Now, umesha maliza nuna fittings, eh? So, uh, the last item na eza ataka kuongea jie nyewe na it's... I had a, a, an instance where last week, me, so you know, you guys know that me fanya fencing na... Mimi na usi huko. Tuko na tent. Atuonekani. For those of you wenye for you guys wenye hajatembea sagana. Sagana is a place full of mini camps. Eh? Kuna verema camp hapa. In the same place yeah, pigs camp. Eh, kuna havira. As you can see hizo ni rapids, verema, havira. So naenda kuomba barabara. Niko na job across the river. Na ninaenda kuomba barabara ya ya kuvuka. I'm going to borrow a road. Ili nivuke hapo hapo rapids. Eh? So basically si uvuka. Si uvuka na 
kwa mto but uh, mimi mimi ni mwoga siwezi so, kukia mto nikiwa peke yangu so <laughs> as you can see si kukia kwa mto hapo so niko nimekuwa na uh, site offense in site hapa hivi sagana na na by the way is eh huko kuna kuna a good a good place za uh, kufanya job eh shamba hapa hii side ya hii side ya mto hii side ya rami they are very expensive but ukivuta ukivuka mto because hakuna ma bridges zinakuwa na cheap so i hope kutakujenga bridge watu wenye watakuwa watu shamba huko watangukia watu wa watu wa kungoja watu wa rad investments eh? 250 by hard and ukuti tapanda bei sana that's the rema come by then sometime back ni kwa I, i was creating some christian camps up by then Yeah, it's a good camp with very good facilities hapo. Eh wacha ni wa shout out ni watu. Yeah, ni press po. Eh siji kama me maintain your service but when I was there. Yeah, na wako na to a frame cabin suko. Eh this is a vera parking for buses and lodges eh no reason. That's easy and the frames are the rem up as you can see. So Havira is a huge resort by the Kona so many entrances this entrance uh, one, two kuna there that's a garden pale wako na garden hapo unaweza fanya ka wedding hapo hivi unaona ka greenery eh wako na so many facilities eh hey, Havira wako na facilities huko eh and then pia rapids wako na nini yao but wanatulipishanga dunia so eh so you unalipishwa kupita na kwa nini Eh hiyo hiyo siwezi. So somehow hapa Havira nikiwa peke yangu naweza penya. I hope hata nilipisha leo. <laughs> so this is your way to Rapids but this is Havira. Hope hope sita sita sita, sita ripisha. And then this guy wa Havira na kuanga dairy hakuna building designana kuna nyumba za mabati kuna za mbao kwanza kuna keja mbili za mbao wamejenga fiti zile ma Bauza yani keja fiti na ile hivi una tiki pale ni ya precast ile unaona pale hivi that's a precast building eh is it is it a panel so na piganganga nazo hizo na na i have not talked to him ni jue his experience of precast ama nini so guys acha nifunge take my belongings Ooh. let me check my belongings so open it up here and they have good views here so open it up at your barabara acha nikifika hapo chini nisikie kama watu wanipatia barabara kitu kingine wako na bridge nyingine <laughs> shaky it's shaky it's shaky it's shaky yeah so that building by the eco pale that building by the near uh, precast na sijui wameka ni ma beehives ama nini wameka akona tents akona akona manini akona ma tented camps za kudoz havira by the it's a huge resort guys eh acha niwapatie shout out kwa zona nipatie anga free passage ukiku <laughs> i think i think they also charge but Yeah, yeah, mimi mimi at least nime 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 ji nime ji nime nime kwa nikipata ka free passage for the past one week eh? but nikiwa peke yangu shukio mkio wengi utasumbuka wow wako na dam hapa last time i checked wali kwa metap maji wanataka ku kufanya ku, ku create their own electricity siji kama wali manage kufanya hivyo now They have an irad this is in mto na chiki pale hivi hiyo ni mto ina utacheki fit hiyo mto ana kama ana tap maji hapo kwa bre eh so siji kama wali manage hiyo story ya ya nini havira na kwa ngadeli it's a nice place these are ka bridge hii hii si shake hii ni bridge poa sana acheki mto venye ni kubwa huko eh you can see that how the main river utu ni tule tu tunaitangaje to tributary somto ama ni mtu inakuja ikiwa one and then inajiseparate na form kairad 
Eh, this is the moment of truth. He bridge. Chakwaza ni yake camera. Vizuli venye yu ati kianguka. Now this one, it shakes. But the views here. Oh, guy mommy. Then it's gonna oil. Kishika iki ti kona ma oil. Check it. Did you want me to get the oil that I need? Now this one. Did you know when she saw the angle side? I give her to him to eat a jar. So you have to be young, baby. You have to keep my coivy. To keep my branches. You have to keep a cat in order to see a cama. That's the cama in the end. The bridge in the end. We don't like cama in the end. The one side in the end. The one side in the end. I can't. Hey, but those views. I'm going to check you on the top. This is the only visual you can see on the wall. But you can see. Hey, this is this is therapeutic, huh? You know, now go for heights. I'm tall, but I hate heights. Huh? I can't shut up about this now, brother. Now, as you can see, who could be combined here in rapids? Who could be rapids? Oh. Now, can you imagine? One acre that side is about four m. One acre side you have no bridges. It comes to one point five. Chamu ane kazi yangu apa hivi. Ache kuto tu posto green. Yen kazi yetu. Ache ni seme yangu. Kazi yangu tu imi yangu. I'm just. Hii mili mayuko. Ene am physically unfit. Uwe. As a former physical educator, I'm so physically unfit. So another thing that is. Basically, very expensive, not to oppose the fencing. And especially perimeter walls. That's why I don't know how easy the king is. Attacker. Atta do a fence now, the king is coming easy. It's expensive, by the way. Just painting, easy, the king. Easy, they have over 520 posts, by the way. Just painting them, more of a venue, no one. Come on, as you can see, very expensive. Eh, kitwingi na expensive ni get, ha? So guys, ha? Hmm? Okay, ame bin when it comes to construction, na kura kitunda ogo na kura kitu kusi kubwa. So it's good to do a, u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u and I'm here to go there, inspect Kenya Imefanya Ukoju. As you can see, Ukoju, Wame Mariza. He said Wame Mariza. No, Taka Kwenda, what is the inspect? Kazi yetu simba, ya. Alafu, ni inspect ya saidi ngele. So, when you're about to fence pia, po unapike sabu zako. Because fencing is not a cheap task. Na si jasema umu sinipatia kazi, but I'm just, na si kupika kazi yangu na pika. No, I'm just telling you the reality. At least, ujue kujenga, si kujenga tu. Mawe ama pre-cast, hiyo ni vitata watu wafai kwa wala pika na sahai. Which is cheaper, which is... That's, by the way, that is insignificant. The only time being pre-cast, ito kusevi ya time. Na, depends on who you are surprised. It depends on who you are surprised. And then, hii ingine, mambo ya cost na nini, hizo zote ni story. Usiambio mambo ya cost, hizo ni story. Sika, hiyo hao, hiyo hati ni kwa na washo. It ended up being almost to kimaliza structure to eke uto to vitu tondani nini nini and then sasa we deal with the with the amenities kama maji sora nini we were talking about 1M budget of 1M for a bed sitter literally in the wilderness so guys it's good it's good ujue that everything that you're doing ama kile kitu nafanya na mijengo The material you are using is not very specific. You need to worry to not fuck with the There are so many other aspects that make a building expensive or not. So let me leave with a few 
uh, views of this area atiki kama ile iko ile hao iko across the river hey guys that's across the river yeah where is it yeah here iko across the river huyo kuna vingine moto ya mto mto tu iko hapo hapo kwa hiyo depression and now that's avira camp unaona ile ile ako ka ako ka set right it's in avira you can see some buildings hapo eh rapids iko tu hapo mbele kuna zingine hoitota zuko kuna kuna blue hills yeah, kama ile iko pale the blue hills yeah. so many so many good sites hapa huh? na pia kuna manibazi sites so yeah. if you have some money una za nunua mashamba huko pia eh yeah. nasiji kama oh tu hizi plots waje tuambie kama wanauza bado hizi wali tupatia kazi wakaendanga kuendanga so yeah let it acha iko hivyo acha niende ni inspect eh hey guys eh? see you on the next one i appreciate you guys mna tupatia job kama wewe mna tupatia opportunities za kuwa serve sometimes tunawakosea juu ya time eh, tumekuwa busy hatujajipanga sana because it's still a new job eh. naomba msamaha for everyone nimekosea rombe